Saturday the 8th of May, 2021, Dream World, Gold Coast, Queensland, Australia. 10.29am, here in Dream World on the Gold Coast. And this is the new triple launcher hypercoaster ride that's getting installed. All the groundwork's got to be done first, and then the rest of it's going up. As you can see, we got that there, and it's going to join up over to this one over here. I've got to get around the back and uh, have a look to see what else has been done around there. I haven't got me other second year pass for Dream World yet. So, I'm going to have to wait. So I'm just going to take you over to the construction over there and show you. But as you can see here, we've still got some rain here in the car park. And apparently the, uh, the coast is on its way from Germany. And the Bax ride is an uncontrollable ride that no one's got control over. Uh, you spin as you ride. Constantly you spin like a roundabout. Constantly from start to finish. The triple launcher hypercoaster. Late December 2021. Here at Dreamworld. As you can see there's a lot of work involved. As you can see here, it's all up. It's Planet 7X up in the sky. See some blue today, so it looks like the blue star Kachina Hoppy Hoppy Nemesis Sun is in the sky. They go into the uh, ground and get filled up with concrete, uh, with Rio all in between. As you can see there, I got photos of uh, this when the shed was standing here. There's a big shed over there, I remember. I said that uh, they're going to have to get rid of that because they're going to need the extension of it. Going to look good. They've even got the concrete walls up now. I wonder what it's going to be like on the outs, on the other side over near the joint drop. They've done a lot of work. Here at Dreamworld, now we'll go over and show you the uh, track over there. And uh, that should be up in place. This thing will be up and running before you know it. They're only four months into building already. I've been building, I've been uh, filming this from day one when they started in January. So thank you all for watching. And uh, when this is built, we'll be able to do a thousand rides on this. I'm on 2,642 rides on the hypercoaster in 15 months and 10 days at Movie World.
and every ride's recorded live on my timeline on Facebook live stream. 2,642 rides and never been sick from day one. That's right, everyone. I've got emphysemia, hypercoaster lungs, I've got uh, bronchitis, I've had it for 35 years from smoking cigarettes for 43 years and been on the hypercoaster Joker Batman ride over at Movie World 15 months and 10 days and every ride's recorded like I just said a few seconds ago to prove I actually done them rides, that way no one can say that I never ever done them rides when I did. Well. I don't have to tolerate the stupidity people, do I? No. Here, check this out. Movie World uh, Hypercoaster will be reopening on the 28th of June, 2021. It's on nine weeks maintenance at the moment. That's why I can't ride the Hypercoaster at Movie World anymore for nine weeks. I'm at 2,642 rides. And I'm on standby until the 20. 8th of June 2021 and I go back and do 2,643 ride. So thank you all for watching everyone. Stay safe, look after yourselves and I won't be on Facebook to the 3rd of June 2021. I can't do no live shows, I can't post nothing. I can't even comment to my own uh, comments. Facebook's blocked me for sharing a a map of the Illuminati chart that I showed that's going on on about the lockdown and obviously I got locked and blocked out of uh, Facebook for 30 days for that but Facebook security allowed someone to send me a message to one of my groups and threatened to drag me up a gravel road and shoot me dead with a gun and Facebook security fact checkers they allowed that message to be sent to me and I tried to comment back to my own post and said well I can't wait to see you grab your gun and do that and I got blocked for that because of the hate speech but it wasn't hate speech for him to threaten to kill me with a gun and drag me up a gravel road and Facebook security allowed that message to be sent to me but as soon as I replied back and said, I can't wait for you to grab your gun, I got blocked from sending that comment. I ended up deleting that person and blocking that person from my Facebook. He wasn't even my friend. His name was Chris. And uh, I ended up reporting it to Facebook security and got blocked. And I got blocked on uh, four posters, three from 2020. 8th of December and the 31st of December and also got blocked in 2019 on the 29th of August. I got blocked as well for sharing the word certificate of vaccination identification. I got blocked for sharing that post. So they've gone back on five of my posts and they've picked on me and they're now also praying on my Instagram and they're also praying on my Twitter and they're also deleting my videos from my YouTube channel without my authorization. I think people better start to really seriously wake up that uh, the new world order is the new tranny law. And if whoever wants to just think whatever, well, we all tried telling you, but the sheep were too stupid to understand. They had no research, you see. A lot of people don't believe in Planet X, but they want to believe this uh, lockdown I mean, more people die in car accidents every day on the road, heart attacks, lung cancer, bowel cancer, brain hemorrhages, you know, more people die of suicide and, you know, more people die on the roads getting run over by traffic through stupidity of people's driving. More people get died in raping and murdering people. And then someone going, <coughs> it's all for control, everyone. And if they think that they can hijack their own constitution and they think they can hijack my blood and poison it with DNA, uh, poison chemicals that they want to poison it with, I don't think so. I think a lot of people in the community are going to start to stand up and take the law into your own hands. Because if you don't, they're going to come and take you 
and your children and they're going to rape you and they're going to murder us. That's what that's going to do. And the Rockefellers and the Rockchilds, they're the ones to answer to everyone because they are the ones that created the virus because they are the virus. I mean, everyone wants to believe this is so real, this virus. Don't think so. Because when I got lungs looking like this, and I can still smoke 40 cigarettes a day if I choose to, I can mingle with over 300,000 people in 15 months and 10 days at Movie World and go live stream 2,642 times at a hypercoaster gate with lungs looking like that. And I can still smoke my cigarettes, not a problem. I don't lose my breath or nothing. And the problem is, is that with people is I seriously need to uh, wake up and realise we're all being played. We're all being lied to. All for control. That's what it is. It's all for control. And obviously our Prime Minister's got to uh, follow the rules or he doesn't have a job. Same as the police. They've got to follow the rules that Scott Morrison gives them or the police don't have a job because the police are employed by the Parliament and House puppets. That's what gets me. The police have got guns and weapons and everything, but they don't have no power than what a politician puppet does. A politician puppet's got more power than the police. And a politician doesn't even walk around with a gun. Be lucky to wear a belt around him. He doesn't even walk around with pepper spray. Because no, he has security looking after him, that's why. Well, you know, we're all skeleton, all identical skeletons. And no one's better than anybody else. We all fart and shit and piss the same and cock the leg the same, but just in different styles. But what gets me is that the Australian Federal Police are so downfounded they can solve all these crimes, but they can't solve this... <coughs> ..that crime. I think a lot of them are woken up and realise they've got no choice to play the game. Or they don't have jobs. When I think... A lot of the police should start helping the community and start standing on the ground for us and our children and our grandkids before our grandkids and our children get raped from their minds to become sheep. What you, people, a lot of people think it's normal to wear a nappy over your mouth. Fair enough if there's a big dust storm coming in and so on, yeah. I understand why, put the nappy over the mouth so you don't breathe in all the sand there's a big sandstorm coming in, you end up with sand all down your lungs. It's common sense to put a mask on. Yeah, but when you've got some lie running around, that's you've got more carbon coming out of the cars, exhausts, causing a poison oxygen. And what? Don't see cars taking off the road? It's because they'll go broke. That's why, like I said, having lungs looking like that, Hypercoaster gates and hypercoaster tracks, I shouldn't even be alive. Back to smoking 20 of these a day because I'm on holidays from the hypercoaster track that I can't ride for nine weeks because it's on maintenance. So back to 20 smokes a day, I got down to five a day on riding that hypercoaster all day from 10 to five. I've proven my point and I think a lot of people need to wake up and realize Stop being a pussy. Stand up and grow some balls or grow some tits or do something and stand your ground. Protect your mother, protect your grandfather, your grandmother and your father. Your mother gave birth to you, she's your God. Government's not their God to you, okay? Government's only God to all of us to keep us safe with safety issues but not lock us down with a lie to get their own way. Exactly. Thank you all for watching, and uh, like I said, I'm banned from Facebook for 30 days. Eventually, they're gonna delete my account, everyone. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna delete my account because they don't like my Virgin Mary Stargate, every checkerboard chess set icon figure formation of the court system to the game board on Earth of chess set. Well, it's checkmate because I've got every icon, the checkerboard, the pawn, the castle, the horse, the bishop, the throne, the trumpet, the king and the queen, and someone sitting down on it. 
I've got the whole lot. And that's why they're monitoring all my accounts and deleting my videos and blocking me and restricting me on social media now. Okay, I'm fine. I'm well. I still can't get sick and die of this magical flu. But I can't make contact with nobody. It's because I'm blocked. And they're only making me even stronger and stronger, mentally stronger, by blocking me. Because now what I've seen, I've even now opened up the 3D eye. I can now even see even more phenomenal stuff. And when I come off an unblock on Facebook, by the time I finish with my photos that you will see in slideshows up on my YouTube channel, when I throw them to Facebook, a lot of people are going to wake up and realise this guy's got sun cities. Infrastructure outlay details of alien Egyptian cities. I've got pyramids. i got them all. i got the lot. i got the smorgasbord constellation. Thank you all for watching, everyone. And don't forget, stay safe. Smoking doesn't kill everybody, and neither does uh, driving out there on the road doesn't kill everybody. But smoking kills millions and driving around in a motor vehicle having car accidents every day kills thousands and millions and hundreds every day. But we don't see anything done about the cars taking off the road like water restriction, do we? No. That's because they'll go bankrupt, the government will. But anyway, everyone, don't forget to uh, also uh, check out the uh, my channel on YouTube and subscribe. I can go live streaming on YouTube if I'm a 1,000 subscribers on my mobile device. If I'm not on my mobile device, I can only go live on the webcam at home on the laptop and I've got 932 subscribers. But having a 1,000 subscribers means I can go live right here now at Dreamworld because I'm on a mobile device. But I can't go live on a mobile device unless I've got a 1,000 subscribers. And I've only got 932. So I'm going to upload this video it's offline and we'll do that uh, in the next uh, 10 to 20 minutes uh, we'll upload it uh, to my YouTube channel and thank you all for watching and stay safe and don't forget bungee up <laughs>